Ace Petcom is really alright. Let's hear what he had to say about the Ford Test match. Pat Cummins insisted England's victory in the third Ashes Test could not shift the momentum of the series. With Australia able to brush this on off, in their knowledge, they still hold to one advantage with two games to play. We are all planted used to it. Playing cricket, there's normally a winner and loser. Cummins said of dealing with England's three quits win. We had a wonderful run up until now, winning the first three matches in this tour. Australia beat India in the World Test Championship final at the Oval before the Ashes began. He also said, this is one of those games you can look at and everyone kind of feels like they could have done something that might have contributed to a different result. But we have all played enough cricket, so we'll brush this one off. After Australia won the first test by two wickets and the second by 43 runs. This was the third successive game to toy with spectator nervous. Cummins also said, it's not my preference, but they have been seen great viewing. It's just tensed out there. It's a great cricket. I actually really enjoying being out there and feeling you have got some kind of control of of the situation and you are in the middle of it. It's 100 times worse when you are in the changing room and you wish you could do something about it but you can't. The matches leaves comes with various selection issues to deal with once the squad returned from talking a few days off to Richards and flying to various places. With Mitchell Marsh hard to leave out at Old Trafford, given his impact after replacing the injured Cameron Green. And the opener David Warner increasingly ripe for a rest after two failures with the bat. However, the decision not to pick Mitchell Stark for the first test looked unlikely to be repeated after the left arm pitchman took five second innings wicket as Australia strained to defend 251. The Australian captain also said, I thought he was fantastic. He was a class act today. He's really versatile now. You have seen him bowl the overball seat. He can swing the ball. He can use his bouncers. He's still got that yoker. So he's just becoming a more and more complete bowler every time he plays and as a captain, it's a luxury to have a left arm who's that in control of his skill and pitch. So viewers, do you think Australia can confirm their series in the fourth test? Don't forget to comment through. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.